and another video from Dave. What's up, YouTube? This is Dave's Hat Enough Point Seven. This is another video to do with Outcast Season One, Episode Two. I remember when she loved me. Review and another video from Dave. And yeah, I'm um, pretty much this is my review for Outcast uh, Episode or Season One, Episode Two. I remember when she loved me. Uh, sorry for not reviewing it last week. I actually just watched uh, Episode Three. Uh, I believe it's called All Alone Now, which is really good. Um, this episode wasn't a bad episode. Uh, definitely wasn't as good as the first one. and definitely wasn't as good as the next one, you know, that uh, after this one. But it needed to be done because it had to give you the backstory, basically, about um, his mother. You know, because in the first episode, you see how his mother was basically beating the shit out of him growing up. Uh, she wasn't always like that. But basically ended up, you know, they show in this episode how she's like in the yard and basically all, everything's good. And then she turns, I guess, gets possessed and is putting mud all over and her, it looks like her hair changes. Like, I don't know if a lot of people notice that, but uh, yeah, her hair changes and she gets all creepy looking and basically just beats the shit out of him all the time, you know. And then one day he fights back and he gets the, you know, the demon out of her. You'll see it in this episode where the demon comes out of her mouth uh, like it did with the boy. And then it grabs him too and chokes him and picks him up off the ground. And you could tell his mother's like sees it going on. But now, you know, her, his, her basically in this episode, his mother is uh, in a nursing home, basically in a comatose state. And, you know, Kyle, after the first episode, what he did with the boy, he feels he could do it with his mother. He feels his mother has a demon in her. And he ends up snatching her from the nursing home and uh, pretty much, you know, going to try to get the demon out of her, you know. Um, so that's basically the main, uh, you know, basically the main thing that happened this episode with a few other things with the, um, you know, the cop, the sheriff. And, uh, you know, his sister's husband, which is the cop, they find, find this trailer in the woods, basically with all blood in it, and raccoons are stapled, uh, or not stapled, but nailed to a tree by their, like, little paws and stuff all throughout, you know, the, the little woods area where that trailer is. And you can see how uh, Chief Giles, you know, how he'll overlook stuff, like you could tell that the town knows about some of the stuff that's going on. I believe this, you know, this takes place in Rome, uh, West Virginia. A lot of weird shit goes on, you know, in this story in that town. Uh, it's a real creepy looking town. Uh, real good setting, the show. I like the setting of the show. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's interesting as, you know, time goes on, we're going to see more and more and more, diff more and more different stuff that they're going to eventually you know, give us more backstory on of what happened. But basically, in this episode, you get the backstory of how his mother got like that and what's going on with his mother. And then we learn about, you know, the man in the uh, black hat and black suit, which basically I'm assuming he's going to be the main villain. You know, he's probably the devil or something. I didn't read the comics, but, you know, this is this actually is uh, one of Robin Kirkman's, uh, you know, comic books, one of his series of comics. Uh, like he does The Walking Dead, he does Outcast. But yeah, the uh, you get to see the man in the the black suit and black hat. He's talking after Kyle. You know, they the Reverend gets him to bring his mother back to the uh, nursing home after what he tried with the boy didn't work. You know, putting the blood in her mouth and all that stuff. Um, he gets her back to the nursing home, talks. You know, basically sits there in the room with his mother and then leaves. And then right after him, the guy in the black hat comes in and black suit and basically tells her you know he says uh what did he say to her i wrote it down he basically says uh he won't know how much fight or how much fire you had in you and how much you fought back and resisted and despite it all we still have him anyways you know so they got kyle somehow because he's got the because what's weird when you watch this show um he has like Th this power, like when he punches the demons, it hurts them, or he puts his blood in them, 
or sunlight hurts them, they don't like sunlight, and it's almost like the demons still have some kind of control over his mother, I guess, uh, but you can see after the guy in the black suit and black hat said that to her, a tear came from her eye, so, and that's basically with that, and then there was one thing you got to see a little bit more backstory with, uh, his, not backstory, but basically he wanted to give a gift to his, um, uh, his daughter and uh, his sister, I believe it's his sister, uh, um, Megan Halter, she didn't want to do it at first when she was going to the party uh, of Kyle's ex-wife, you know, where his, his daughter's having a birthday party, but she ends up taking the gift, you know, he convinces her to take the gift, and that actually becomes her favorite gift, gift. Uh, the little, his little daughter's basically sitting there I believe it was a coloring book or something he gave her, and that was her favorite uh, gift. And you can see the the ex-wife basically looks at the gift, and because they don't know when when they're open it, there's no name on the gift or you know, no nothing of where it came from. And she, you could tell she could tell that it was from him at the end of the episode. Uh, but basically, that was it. If I had to score this episode, I thought it was a pretty good episode. I would give it a seven. Uh, I think that's a fair score. It wasn't as good as the first one, and I just saw the third one. It wasn't as good as that, but it was, I, I have to go with a 7. It was, it was decent. It was good for backstory. But that's my review, guys. Tell me what you think of Outcast uh, Season 1, Episode 2. I remember when she loved me. Um, review, or, or well, my review. <laughs> Tell me what you think of the review that I did. Tell me what you, I like to hear feedback because I enjoy doing this. Tell me what you think about the episode. Do you like Outcast? Are you a big fan of Robert Kurtman? Uh, tell me what you think about everything and more videos to come. Thank you, YouTube.